Ladies and gentlemen and gentlemen and ladies, whether you're driving a Penta or driving a Mercedes, have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? Because I know I have. When I was trying to get this podcast off the ground, I had a lot of questions. That's right. How do I record an episode? How do I get my show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places people like to listen? How do I make money from my podcast? Because in order to make money, you got to spend money, as we all know. But in this case... It's even better. To answer every one of these questions, it's really simple. Anchor. That's right. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. Best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors too, so you can get paid to podcast. That's right. Paid to podcast. So to everybody out there that has a dream like me, go for it with Anchor. Thank you. Um, waiting for the reaction to this. Get My Go returns on Saturday on, on the YouTube channel. And uh, that's, that's season three. Mike Durbin's been hard at work on the production and all the video effects and He's a talented uh, videographer and photographer, as we saw from the NWA show. Just put Mike over a little bit. Um, at the CC Network 1 on Twitter for other Creative Control Network shows. This week to start up. I like up. how Mike buries you, but you never bury him. Yeah, I know. It doesn't make sense, right? So let's get at it, bro. Let's What, what is that? Let's go get a go. What is that called? Well, get my go. But let's it's get nice my go, it. bro. Please spread the word. Our numbers have been growing 24 months, over 24 months of straight subscriber growth. That's about it. We will see you next week. Oh, thank you for everybody that's been joining our Patreon. we got 24 months uh, subscriber growth. Okay. Anyone can go on and have a YouTube channel or a blog and say they hate Chad. I think Chad sucks on Get My Go. I think he's an egomaniac. I think he's this. Does it mean you are? No, it doesn't. It just means that one person thinks that about you. I am the MC for the week. If you didn't know by now, my name is Chad. And every single week, you can catch me on Eyes Up Here with the Queen of Extreme, Francine, on the Creative Control Network. And you can also catch me on the visually stunning YouTube hit, Get My Go, of course, in its third season. And coming for you, whomever you are. Uh, and you want to suspend will, this I guy say, from the mailbag? You must be a fan of the Get My Go show, which is a show for idiots by idiots. <laughs> Preparing for another kazoo here. Eyes up here with Francine and Chad. Their guest this week is actually Husey on Francine's podcast. Why would you have a no talented bum on her show like that? She's got uh, this will get her kazoo. She's got a, a positive affiliation with Get My Go. She actually was on Get My Go. Oh my so, god! Yeah, Francine. Boy, uh, Fran, boy, god. those ECW people have turned out to be <laughs> a lot of too many chair shots. Wrap, wrap this up, <laughs> Husey. Thank you, sweetheart, for the super chat. I don't know how much that is, but we appreciate it. And everybody, go over to get my go. They are funny, funny gentlemen. Uh, Chad is a part of get my go. I am going to be on soon. Uh, not in the bottom right, hopefully, but I will be on there and um, with my second appearance. Okay. Okay. And are you, you're associated with the Get My Go crew? Yes, I'm the, the <laughs> funny one from Get My Go. You're the funny one. Okay. Because, uh, you know, he's that... The, he's that, the funny one when I'm not on, you know. That's that Get crazy. My Go keeps haunting this <laughs> this uh, pod, my podcast. I, I can't get away from you guys, so... But um, you, know what, you know what it is? Because every time you think it's about to die off, a new level of <laughs> cunt is discovered by these guys. Like, like one of them... <laughs> One of them faked having cancer so that wrestlers would tweet them? No. Well, it's a bit, though, right? No, in real life, the, the... It's, it, it's a bit after you're done counting the money that was donated to the uh, the GoFundMe. No. <laughs> yeah. That's hideous. Yeah, well, speaking of hideous, you should see what his wife looks like. I can't support something the, like the, that. The last time I seen something like that, I threw a sardine in its mouth. <laughs> This is what I do, and that's how I am. And I never bash Vince. I'm just honest to anybody, and I say things in an honest fa- in an honest factor in life. And I'm not a reactive person most of the time. I'm not going to react in a certain way. I'm going to well think. I'm going to articulate things well, and I'm going to think it out, and I'm going to work through it. Just notice I'm watching lots of WCW shows and WWE shows. Glenn has never really been a fan of facial hair. 
In late 90s, you sported some stubble, but it looks like 100% of you wrestling years, you never had any facial hair. Was there a reason for this? Oh or just God. not your thing? Some people are saying online that you're just addicted to the blade. Ooh, that's, that's definitely a suspension. <sighs> Thanks to Fig Bath King, King Taylor. That's a suspension. Cone, is that a suspension? 100%. I mean, and that, then, and yeah. just so you think, if you think you're coming to my page to troll me by saying anything about addicted to my blade, you're just kind of being a dick. So I'm going to be a dick right back, which, as you know, I have no problem being. <laughs> and you're going to be blocked. Yeah, so let's block that any guy. addicted to the blade bullshit, stupidity, any get my go fucking stupidity is going to be blocked. Let's block them okay? all. I, I actually one. like them. I like Durbin and I actually like Joe, but still, I think their topics of conversation are idiotic. <laughs> right. For, for grown men. Yes. <laughs> hey, did you know that uh, big, dumb, fat Republicans don't understand what an uh, NDA is? I, I wasn't aware of that. Can you elaborate yeah. more? Yeah, I, I was just thinking about this. Uh, uh, Rad Rob, uh, he's against women getting abortions, but he's also uh, has a problem, I'm sure, with what Muslims think of how they treat women. And it's like, well, you're halfway there, so what's the fucking problem? <laughs> Okay, that's a great start to uh, a topic we're going to talk about today. Yeah. Uh, Speaking involving... of women being abused. <laughs> and whew, ooh, how, how have mercy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Did I hear that Brad Armstrong is here? Yes, you did, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in a dead sleep. And then the Brad Armstrong meter just came out, and I'm like, "There's a Brad Armstrong match coming on." Yes. Wow. Yes. Yes. Uh, get my go return last Saturday. That's on a YouTube. crime right there. That's and then it isn't even a misdemeanor. It's like felonious. <laughs> As a felony. Uh, let me go. This is a show for idiots by idiots putting each other over, which is Mike Durbin and well, Matt. Chad the trailer boy and fucking this fucking Yahoo with the worst shirts in the business <laughs> rips other people's ideas off. Doesn't really sell that much, but that's tries all tries to that play all, it off like he does. That all goes into Mike. And they use a lot of my unauthorized uh clips clips on yeah, there. That's true. Well yeah. Mike's the producer. He can he can be blamed on that one. But all, all the pro wrestling tease money for Get My Go does go into the pocket of Mike Durbin. So good for him. He's making a couple of bucks there. Uh, so it returns Saturday with a Stuttering John episode. This week it's gonna or next week it's gonna return with an episode on wrestling Ataku. And then we're gonna go after uh, JD from what? New York. Wait Re- one second. I, What's this, wrestling Ataku? He's a freak, basically. Really he's like the bottom of the barrel wrestling fan nerd. Always uh very sexist and disgusting and just terrible opinions. So he he's fun he's fun to uh to riff and rile up. You're 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 not seeing things. I'm here. Yes, I'm so happy that you're I'm, here, I'm man. I'm coming out to my my entrance music here. Yes, how it's you doing? Brad. It's not Brad. It's mine. I'm no, 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 man. I, I heard you were doing a little episode tonight. And I have a few. I minutes. am. I have a few minutes, so I figured I would uh, pop out and say hello. There's a new get my go on Saturday, produced by the great Mike Durbin. Uh, this week. If you want to, if you if you if you want to see a show for idiots by idiots, it's get my go. Right. And this week we're going to go after another idiot as we go after Stuttering John's podcast, who podcasts Ooh. very often uh, drunk. So in his honor, we're all going to get a lo- little loaded up as we record it. So that was that was some fun. That'll be on YouTube on Saturday. Okay. Next is from Matthew Hansen, and then the subject is Tony Schiavone mad with power. <laughs> Hello, guys. Has Tony Schiavone got mad with power? Tony Schiavone now is an action figure. Do you think anyone outside the Schiavone family will buy this? Conan, would you want one of those or get my go shirt for Christmas? Peace and love. Oh. Matthew Hansen suspended for the mailbag for a week. Right. For, uh, bringing up get my go. And yeah, I'd use yeah. get my go shirt to wipe my ass maybe. Also, get my go. Uh, the second episode of the third season is out on Saturday. Uh, the show is moving forward a little bit. Looks like Mike's doing it every couple of weeks he puts a lot of editing into it i know we make fun of it and kazoo it here and all that stuff but mike does do a great job editing video uh so check that out on that youtube channel don't forget to check out uh k100 all over social media at k100 conan on twitter instagram and facebook and it's usually hello 
this week has returned and has YouTube documentarian James Hargraves. Who? On his show this week. YouTube documentarian. Okay, this is for Mike Durbin <laughs> for putting him over and I couldn't find my kazoo. And this is for Hughes Lee. It's from Mike Durbin. P.S. Great segment with Nick Hausman last week. It was awesome to hear a wrestling journalist on K100 actually discuss wrestling news. <sighs> Didn't spend 95% of the time discussing himself and how only – and how wrestling only makes up a small portion of his income, and had a microphone and headphones. Hope he comes back on soon. All right. Uh, okay. So, uh, Joe, correct me if I'm wrong. Did you not put my speech on as like an Easter egg that week? Yeah, your speech was the Easter egg, and we also had a short segment where you discussed Okay. It. You, did, yeah. you did miss a couple of discussions about it. Well, one discussion and then some of the speech, Mike. Okay. Yeah. So do you not listen to the show, Nutbag? <laughs> I suspend this fucking guy. Durbin suspended. Wow. One week. That's really bad. This, was, yeah, this that, is big for you. This yeah. was huge. Monumental, it's some actually, may say. It's actually... They're way bigger than Get My Go, but he's, uh, <laughs> he's linked up with Husey. Also, uh, the Chadster is on there, and they're going to go over some of the reasons. What a brutal name. The guy's <laughs> named Chad, and the best he could come up with is Chadster. Chadster. That has heat with me. So they're going to go over some of the latest podcasts and comedy news. Right. We'll see how this goes. They would have looked like the biggest cucks in the fucking world. Like somebody that is on or listens to Get My Go. All right. (laughs) Right. If nothing would have happened. You know, Fetterman's brutal and all that. But Dr. Oz is just like Conan said. He doesn't come across legitimate and stuff. So basically it's it's, you're picking shit or worse shit when you vote it. Nobody wants either one of these guys, you know. Right. Sounds there was like actually this. Listening to get my gold, like shit and more this, shit, uh, shit and more shit. <laughs> um, where are we at? So, um, so the main news this this uh, from this week is the fact that um, man, if the Mets would have taken take taken one from Atlanta. And anyway, the second thing that's going to get heat is Get My Go returns next Saturday, of course. Oh, and, get the kazoo. Uh, Do you have a kazoo? Right, a show They're... by idiots for idiots. We got to be reviewing. Mike Durbin, hard, hard at work. Uh, this one, we're actually we're going back to the John Wangland story oh to jump up the season. And then the, uh, yeah, the remainder. There was, such a, there was such a market for Dude, that. Dude, that, that's your selling point? We're well, going to be talking about John Wangland? Who the who? fuck is that's, that? That's the top uh, viewed episodes. People love that because he's a. Uh, who is he's it? Like okay, a, well, he, who is that? He's a former podcaster, but he's like a gaff machine. Like everything he says is fucked up, and we criticize and joke he's about just it. Shots You're at us, talking too. about a guy that no longer has a podcast. Real right, good. Right. But uh, right. also yeah, coming this season, your... will we get my goes? Uh, I know there's going to be one on Stuttering John. His podcast is also rife for parody. Get, get my go nostalgia. The nostalgia. The nostalgia. Fans get yeah. My go, right, yeah. And uh, <laughs> those guys want to do a get my go on Juan Un. And, uh, I will not be participating in that. What well, does he have? A, what, what he has a podcast? Why not? Too? You like Juan Under? I just don't shit? want to cross the streams with this show. When Juan sent sent stuff to us for this show. Oh, and, what a, you know what what a mean? professional what guy you what, are! What Thank is, you. What does Juan Under do that, he, that they're going to review? Well, he sent people scripts, and they're going to bust his balls. Oh, they're going to a lot of pi- pictures. Like Bro, script? be yeah. my guest. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Like, like you're trying to protect him. He's I, not I just, a, yeah, he's I just, not, he's not. He doesn't come on the show. He's never been on the show, I'm, and he never will be on the show. I'm going to do, so, I'm gonna do this, so, seems, so I don't understand he why you can't like talk a, about he him. He seems like a sensitive guy. He already left the Discord because he had some uh, people were messing with him, and I don't know. I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. So, oh, but you have no problem doing it to Wanglin. Yeah. Well, we had a personal issue. The next one is from uh, Preston Sharp. Uh, the subject is Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman there, man. Oh, this is the there, man guy. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Hey, Conan there, man. You missed the hot news segment Ugh. stuff and everything last week there, man. When Bill Body, do you know what I'm saying? Reported that the main event there, man, and stuff and everything for Crown Jewel. Do you know what I'm saying? It's Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman and stuff and everything. I was wondering there, man, what do you think about this main event? Do you know what I'm saying? Good booking there, man, or bad booking and stuff and everything. Do you know what I'm saying? P.S. There, man. That was absolutely <laughs> brutal. Um, King of the Ring 95. What if they debut Shane as the dean on that show? Oh, it'd be phenomenal. It'd be phenomenal. That crowd was already chanting ECW. Was, you know, ECW was already making some huge, huge waves that's out there, man. Oh, and don't try to be funny with the get my go shit you emailed me, all right? Uh, he did? Yeah. He, he said something like that. Uh, thinks he's funny. 
Right. Huge posts like thinks he's like when he messages me on 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 uh on on you know private messages and stuff right. when he posts on the internet. So he thinks his jokes are funny. Right. They're not funny. They're not just that, bro. It's a stupid show with a stupid premise with stupid people on it. If you guys did get my go and like did it on like you know like like people that people knew. Mm-hmm. Like do it on like you know like maybe satin or or the dirt sheet or some, some you know somebody or fa- or famous person that has a well podcast. they did it they did one on you uh, guys do it on somebody it's like nobody wants to hear you guys roast bro, I just, people they have no clue who they are well, that's the, like you know the whole that, you know, the whole premise so it's a joke between forty people <laughs> right Come on. Yeah, monetize your well, shit bro you're it's like a, that. Joe, it's like a Joe, side I'm, thing we're buddies I'm, I'm, I'm well aware, aware, thing. just rub I'm one well out aware of their pictures <laughs> Joe yeah. I'm well aware it's a side deal yeah. You would have to you if you're going to do a concept like that mm. as a side deal, and if you're going to spend the exact amount of time each week that you do, do it for somebody that it might trend that people actually know who you're roasting. Right. Like, right. why would you do it for for John right. Waglin for well, this little echo they, chamber of like, and you're trying to monetize it? Yeah. It's like you know, like like, like seriously, it's like going, it's like going to go to play a. So you go to the casino, they give you free play, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, well, would you go to a place that's giving you fifty dollars in free play, or go to a place which is giving you two hundred dollars in free play? Like $200. which play? Like, you're choosing the fifty dollar free play, you know? <laughs> so it's well, like, you know, they, I, it's I, moved I just don't on get a little it, bit because yeah? they don't. The Wanglin thing is only like here and there, but in this like bubble, I still never we, heard we, a like, word come out of that guy's mouth, John like, Wanglin. I couldn't tell you what the guy sounds like or anything. WWE returned to New York City and Madison Square Garden for the first time post COVID. And it was a huge show, a monumental Friday night SmackDown. Uh, get my go. I think Durbin released it for a New Year's present. A show and that, for uh, idiots by idiots. For sure. And uh, they actually, well, I, I'm not going to lie. I was there too. Juan Unda was the oh, subject. That's why I said so. idiots. <laughs> Juan Unda was the subject, and uh, we're trying to draw him out of hiding. Bro, people uh, must be going, who's Juan Unda? Well, we tell, a, we tell a story in the beginning, and then. Durbin puts together clips, you know, from the shows that are, or, or his appearances on YouTube, stuff like that to, to tell the story. But let's see if this gets, so by back. burying him, you're, he, he's going to come back. Maybe he's going to be like fierce for some revenge and shit like that. I don't know, but he left if me. he's a snowflake and you criticize him and he went into hiding, you think insulting him w- within five guys for two or three <laughs> weeks in a row is going to bring him back. Yeah. Maybe he'll defend himself. He says he's a comedian. He can just zing back. I'm sure he would be fine. Yeah, sure you that's, do a great job. that's uh i'm just impressed that you got the making the huge waves out there uh yeah. reference out there because uh me thinking about that makes me hooked on phonics and stuck on stupid so. <laughs> <Excellent>. <laughs> um next one is from ben the subject is jojo is funny hi disco with all due respect you and conan are wrong when it comes to joe not being funny I get the kazoo out for this guy. Oh, I chuckle at least several times per episode at his subtle and dry remarks. I'm a big fan of what he brings to the show, both off and on the air. I'm required to ask a question, so D.I., you have very thick skin and don't let things bother you. Is there anything that gets your go? All right, Ooh. just come back. Ben? My God. Ben, My God. This guy's banned. banned, yeah, banned you're right. Me, you know, you, how could you miss Joe with those quick takes, those witty <laughs> remarks? He keeps this show going. <laughs> I mean, he is the motor of this show. Like he just Heart and soul. The, I mean, he keeps the funnies coming. I have a question for Nick, and I figured this person was like, hey, could you ask Conan to ask Nick? But I figured we got Nick on, and I'll just ask him myself. Mike Durbin wants to know if he could, if he could have some sort of credentials for the NWA show to be – to go get drops for K100 and be a K100 correspondent. Uh, he, he can, he can, he can have a credential. He can have, he can have a, he can have like the, what's the opposite of a credential? He can have like no, no access pass. No access pass. All right. <laughs> Zero access. <laughs> You're gonna get his go. I'm, I'm sure I can figure that out. Yeah, I'll just ask uh, Kyle or Jay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Mike. But he, but, but I'll, I'll politic and make sure that he only asks questions about me. Yes, of course. Right. <laughs> he does a lot of. Uh, comedians for his guests but uh, he still puts out a couple uh, shows yeah unfortunately none of them are funny and we've never heard of them. <laughs> uh durbin I, I don't know i don't think the mike durbin show exists anymore he uh he just does get my go so that'll be returning well, thank you guys weeks. thank the podcast world thank you mike <laughs> durbin and Norman and fucking hughesley yeah so you were bringing nothing to the game they are they are uh those no man who's durbin are out hughesley's still going strong as is get my go so That'll yeah, be, well, be back in a couple shows weeks. full of idiots. Would ex- I don't expect <laughs> any idiots. less. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. All right. You would be absolutely shocked 
at what, but Joe, I was just telling Conan, I listened to Get My Go when you guys did JD, JD from New York, the Cody Rhodes. Yeah. And I was like, dude, I'm, I'm fascinated that like, we, we talk about nerd culture. There's just like a sea of fans that listen to this guy. And he is like the, like the worst that like with me, which I'm a former drug addict myself. And I was able to overcome and which I was able to defeat my demons. And you know what? Mr. Anderson was able to do the same and I'm proud of him. Speaking of funny, you can also catch Get My Go on YouTube the entire That's not funny either. Two seasons. Okay. Like I said, if this information continues, those mentions will be banned. I did I I was curious to the fact that um, when I had to reset my thing yesterday, when I came back, Disco was admitting that he had actually watched a Get My Go episode, and I was curious to his review of that. Disco, what did you think of the uh, Get My Go you saw? I, mean, I won't listen to another one. No, oh, that was it. One one chance yeah. and done. Ah, uh, that was it, yeah. That's yeah, how shit. good it is, Joe. So, yeah. like I said, damn quit it. coming up here. The one thing we don't do is bullshit the fans. Right. And you're bullshitting <laughs> them. And you're trying to get them. You're trying to use the greatness of this show, which is funny. Yeah. And informative and thought-provoking to lead you on to some lesser shows that aren't mm. as good. So, don't use this to fucking flex over there. Yeah, it's dishonest. Like, there's no dishonesty on this show. Did you know that uh, Chris Martin uh, came up with a version of this song? Yeah. It's called that? The Harvester of Borrow. <laughs> I'll see what you did there. Yeah. Because well he's a bad parent and he does not have a good job. It's Husey Hello uh, with Husey, of course. Features this week, the Aussie guy. The Aussie guy, Dean, of course. Uh, from, Who? He's from, what do you mean, of course? Well, I mean, some people Who know him. the fuck him. is that? Some people know him from Get My Go or Mallertown. No, they don't. Which is his Nobody podcast. listens to that show except you guys and your other, you know, lackeys and fucking simps. Scrubs. Scrubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're going to do a Metallica top five songs this week. So if you're interested in hearing their top five Metallica song list, it's on the It's Who's Hello podcast feed. And uh, eyes up here with Have they done their Go Go's list, or was that just Vince and Hughesley? Uh, uh, Vince and Durbin. Yeah, I guess I guess so. I don't know that Hughesley's done a Go Go's list, but I don't see that he wouldn't. He I'm also, he sure also he has. requested on Twitter that he do a Prince top five with you. So that's his dream podcast. We already did the one we were going to do. If he wasn't on it, that's on him. Yep. Oh, by the way, thank you for the Charlie Chaplin book, Durbin. Very that nice was one. very nice of you. A uh, big fan of Charlie Chaplin and the mustache. Yes. <laughs> I always pop for that. So uh, to wrap up, uh, Eyes Up Here with Francine does a throwback episode this week where Francine and Chad review the King of the Hill Battle Royal from ECW Live in December of 96. Next is some Durban. Subject is Disco Cross. Que Paso Conan El Barbero. I watched a tribute that AAA did for you. It was so beautiful and well-deserved. It almost brought me to tears seeing such a great, good friend of mine be honored. Okay, we're not, we're not good friends. Uh, what, was this, what, was the, what was the significance of the what was the significance of the Santana song? Glenn, I ran out of Tony Schiavone clips for you, but here's an interesting one. On a recent Baptized Fire with Brother Martin podcast, the host, give, the host gives you the old compliment sandwich when he mentions that you train Killer Crocs. Please play the attached clip, Joe. So if you could please answer this question, what else do you have cooking in the oven, so to speak? Mike Durbin. Oh, uh, Mike on vacation Durbin. Uh, play the clip, Joe. Okay. Is it long? Durbin should know not to put a long clip in here. 39 seconds. That's fine. Play it. It's crazy to think that Disco Inferno trained this guy. Okay, Disco Inferno trained one of the best performers in wrestling, period. It's amazing. It, so for me, I don't shit on Disco nearly as much because of that fact, because if it wasn't for Disco, I might not have had that moment with Cross. So I'm grateful. I'm I'm very, very grateful. Um, and that gets me thinking that if Disco has the ability to train somebody like that, why, I mean, what else does he got cooking in the oven, so to speak? Well, I helped train Chris Bay a little bit, too. Mm. You know? That's two pretty good, that's two pretty good, 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 uh, um, two pretty, pretty decent feathers in my cap, you know? I mean, because I, I, I trained, I, 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 maybe like five or six sessions with Bay, you know, would where you he was take, part of the group, you know? Would you take any credit for training Ron Reese? No, I didn't train Ron Reese. Okay, I'm just asking. Did you train? Have you ever trained anybody? Trained? Yeah. 
Not really, no. Right, right. Next is from Nick Reed. Hang, hang on, D.I. Do you still go down to the school or anything? I don't hear you talk about nah, it. No, I've been much. going. I've okay. been going down there at all. Yeah. How come? Just time? I just get because I got too much time. Like, yeah. bro, I got a job and I do this. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, you know, I'm, you know, I'm 54 years old. I don't want to be working 50 hours a week, you right. know? If you didn't know by now, my name is Chad, and every single week I'm coming to you live from the Mike Durban School of Audio Imperfections. As I sit here looking across the, uh, the, the stream yard screen at my lovely friend over in Ireland, our guest today, uh, the one and only Husey, I am micless because my microphone, after five years, has decided to go off to another land and retire. So I am here with my Apple headset talking to this guy, Mr. Husey. Yeah, uh, Durband, of course, the guy that loves audio so much that he was named after it. Yet right, he'll probably, he'll, probably edit, he'll probably edit it and stuff later and everything. He'll probably talk about how the Get My Go reunion show is coming up or something. I don't know. Who knows, right? Yeah. Right. Uh, this is what Durbin writes. This is tremendous. You got to come on Get My Go for this one. Please. <laughs> you know what I said to Mike? <laughs> did, did, did you tell Mike not to even send that to me? Yeah, like, he's, he had- he's like, wow, we got to get Disco on. Do you think you can get him on? I'm like, no. Don't even like, bother asking me. No, I, I did say to Mike, I was like, maybe if we pay him, but otherwise. Uh, yeah, you know. I'm going to throw the number yeah. out there I'm yeah. publicly. Right? 500. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't yes. have said that. No, no, 500. <laughs> yeah. I'll do five, 500. <laughs> if you want me to invest my time in, in responding to a video <laughs> of the market on the, the internet. Australian guy. That's 100, hours, Chad, that's 100, 100 hours each. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they would probably be willing to take $100 I, to bring you on. Could be probably be the biggest news ever. Because, bro, right. it's like all these marks, and I include all the get my go marks. Sorry, right. Joe, you're included. As a bunch of marks fighting with other marks all the time. <laughs> it's either Bill I mean, Body. Yeah. It's either this fucking guy that we don't even fuck the uh, show. Uh, I'm sure get my go will probably clip something from here and put it out there to try to rouse something up, which is never going to end in anything. Because I'm not going to answer this guy. Even if you pay me, I'm not going to answer yeah. him. I'll but do this for 500. Is, is, okay, but let me, give you my, let, let me give you my statement. Do the kazoo, yeah. please. Yeah. I, kazoo this whole thing, especially this is for <laughs> where the fat guy Christ. gets no pussy, whatever his name is. <laughs> right. uh, for Durbin. <laughs> for Get My Go is a show, a concept, and every guy that's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Dean says the muffin man always says God and family come first. Good job by you. Thank. I like to listen to the muffin man's philosophy. So thank you, Dean, for that. Look at, um, Dean, look at Dean popping in. I, to, I love it. Way nice to see him there, man. Dean. Um, yeah. What kind of cons are in Illinois besides? Uh- oh Next is from Mike. This you'll like this one, uh, Conan. It's from Mike Durbin. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> Subject is young boys. Hi, Mr. Conan is still unverified on Twitter, Glenn, even though I donated the $8 to you. Is that true? Is next to, uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Did he send you $8? No, he didn't send me $8. <laughs> is there a Mexican equivalent to the young boys in Mexico, or is it just a Japanese thing? Also, who among the Get My Go crew do you think would make the best young boy? Joe, Huji, Mike, the Aussie guy, or the Chadster? And P.S. To target the next Get My Go episode is none other than, none other than Mitch Valentine. That's true. Uh, and who would be on my young boy? Well, none of you are young, and I don't know the Aussie simp, and I don't know the other guy. Chad, so probably joke. <laughs> I, I might be a good young boy. I'm good at grabbing uh, coffee and carrying bags. You know, do I have to soap your back too? Well, that's part of the deal. That's that's All what right. young boys do. That's the first. The first time I saw a young boy was in Japan, and the guy literally was scrubbing Onita's nutsack. No. And I was like, wow, what a great job. And another <laughs> guy was scrubbing his back. The other guy was carrying his bag. The other guy was shaving him. Jesus. He had, bro, he had like eight young boys. Yeah, I thought, what That's a great a- gimmick. And uh, yeah, the just back from London uh, over the weekend, over a ridiculous heat wave where I sweat so much that I literally had salt stains on my shirt. That's how I, like the I think I was approaching almost dying over there. But <laughs> thankfully I'm not Rad Rob and I am healthy. So check me out on Twitter at Mike Durband. And both of you guys, Glenn and Conan, you'll be happy to know that Get My Go season three will be oh, right. Okay, let me ask you a question. <laughs> because we're coming back from a show, hiatus. This is a show 
run by idiots for idiots. <laughs> okay? First of all... That's a t-shirt, Mike. So, yeah. immediately... <laughs> Your promos on the PA systems at Walmart are outstanding. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I want to say this, uh, that I do still have a dream. I do still have a dream of where I want to be involved in the wrestling business. I'm not talking about being a wrestler because, honestly, that's not going to happen due to my physical disabilities. But but if I could be a PA announcer, a referee, a uh, someone that builds the ring something i want to do something that can help contribute to developing and helping characters and helping wrestlers get over i mean because honestly growing up one of like my favorite things to do was serve at youth camps okay i'm already bored i don't want to hear anything <laughs> that has to blow by blow about jobbers or guys i've never heard of i All have right. zero interest about All as right. much as listening to get my goal oh. or anything on the creative control network that's how much interest i have all right joe tell us about everything going on keeping it 100 your pro your projects everything going on bro well, I'd be I'd be uh, remiss if I didn't mention get my go first because Durbin will be right on me for that. You Bro, I have not. Can, no. can you can you send a message to Durbin for me? I have not heard from this guy in freaking months. Wow, months. What's up with that, Mike? Yeah, tell tell Durbin to uh, buzz me, man, so I can catch up with him and see what's going on. Okay. And joining me as always is the wonderful brother Martin Christopher Martin. What's up, buddy? I'm not much, brother. I'm here to have some fun. I'm here to I'm here to talk about some football. And wait a second, there hasn't been a wedge brought between us, so I guess we're getting along. So you know, uh, which I guess that's pretty good. But anyways, that's a different story, ladies and gentlemen. Um, just want to say that me and John we're tighter than ever and there ain't nobody that's gonna split us apart so you can take those pathetic efforts elsewhere but it, but anyway pulling the onion back a little bit what do I do for a living other than owning a podcast network and doing a podcast and trying to grow my brand and my shows brands that are on my network I am a social worker by day okay I have a master's degree I'm three I'm th you know three credits away from having a doctorate all right. So I'm a very highly educated person in the field of uh, human services and mental health and studies and clinical ways. I'm very highly educated and very, very highly uh, recommended by people. And I appreciate him for that. Uh, <laughs> also, um, get my go available on YouTube and on uh, all your podcast providers, audio version. Mike Durbin had a okay, complaint. Get my go to this. Yeah. A show for idiots by idiots. Yeah, and he, he actually made that shirt too. Um, Mike had a complaint that when I promote Get My Go on here, I always I, I always say they, and I never say we. He's like, why are you saying we? You're part of the show. I didn't realize that was going to bother anyone. So with Get My Go, you can find us for Snowflake Mike on YouTube yeah. and on yeah uh, on the Creative Control Network at the CC Network One on Twitter. Taking you to school with Dr. Tom Pritchard is going to go. Over